Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Heaven and here on this channel I create motherhood, motivation, and homemaking inspiration content as well as some homeschool and Disney content. So today we are getting into a Disney pack with me video again. They really do change as my family grows, like as we get older, as our um, trip needs change. For instance, we are currently expecting a little one on the way. So now I have to pack a little bit differently, um, you know, just to make things a little more comfortable for us. But we are going to be going to Disney World for nine days to celebrate my son's five year birthday as well as the end of his kindergarten curriculum um so he's turning five we're doing like a baby moon kind of all of the things it's gonna be lots of fun of course so i'm gonna be sharing with you guys what we typically pack for our disney world trips also if i haven't already said it if you are new here and you have enjoyed the family then why have you not you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when i upload new content i'm always sharing helpful information when it comes to motherhood and parenting as well as homemaking home organization fun days in the life and all of the things and again disney content so if you click on this video just for the disney content I am planning to roll into more of it. I had stopped for a minute because I actually have a Disney channel now, a separate channel here on YouTube. So I'm going to link it down below as well as put it in the top corner so that you guys can check it out if you are a Disney loving family just like us and you want to make some Disney memories with us. But I decided why not go ahead and just sprinkle in some Disney content here as well and on the new channel. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. You will begin seeing Disney content here on this channel again. So anywho, let's go ahead and get into this packing video. I do wanna say that the last one that I did back in September, October was a bit more thorough, a bit more detailed. I went into all of the things. So I'm also gonna link that below for you so that you can check that one out too if you're looking for a bit more packing inspiration. And then again, I have a few different ones up for you to check out so for this one i'm gonna start off by showing you guys what i packed for myself and my son and then briefly i'll just like quickly go through what i packed for my husband too in case you like me also have to pack for your spouse or your partner okay so i am going to just start off like taking things out of the packing cube because i am done packing so um whenever i'm doing these videos i have to like pack everything first and then unpack them so that i can show you guys but i am going to start with like park day outfits <laughs> For myself some of them are themed and some of them are not everything that you will see in here is going to be comfy clothes that is 100% for sure first up is this comfortable green like jumpsuit romper shorts outfit it is a one piece <laughs> but um, it's really really comfy if you don't do one piece you can skip out on something like this but I love the whole just throw on one thing and go idea of traveling so i got that one in a light green as well as the cutest a little dreams come true tiana hat and this is a ponytail hat so it has no back just a little scrunchie on the back so that you can basically put the hat on and pull your ponytail up and through it to keep your hair off your face and keep yourself cool in the hot florida weather so i thought this would go cute with like that green romper next i have another shorts romper outfit and this one is like a taupe color or like brown tan whatever you want to call it both of these i got from amazon this one is sleeveless the other one was short sleeve but just another comfy romper with pockets and the hat i got from this for this one off amazon is like a canvas style safari style hat this is going to be an animal kingdom outfit so i thought that this would be the perfect little thing keep the sun off my face keep me nice and cool in the summertime for epcot flower and garden because we are going during april springtime i got a cute thin little um like racer back style tank from target and it has tiana on it as well as a bunch of flowers and she has like a flower bouquet and all of the spring things and it says jazzy spring days i thought that this was super cute to wear to epcot flower and garden and it's super comfortable stretchy lightweight so i won't be too hot inside of that one and then i also packed my favorite flower and garden mini ears don't know if i'm gonna wear them originally i packed them with this shirt here just a short sleeve thin pink top that I was gonna wear like this but now I'm thinking I might 
wear the Tiana shirt with the flowers on it. But either way, I'm just going to wear it with some really comfy jean short like jeggings. So like they're stretchy. But still like a jegging like jean like denim material. And then they are maternity of course. But this is beside the point. The point is these are some comfy shorts. And I love that they are not too short in the back. They are pretty long in the back. And I got these from Amazon as well of course. And then another park outfit is this one here is just like a basic white tunic top i like the tunic tops because they cover your bottom if you're wearing shorts or like thinner type of biker shorts leggings or anything like that i always like the ones that's going to cover my bottoms so i did get like this white tank here I have some jean shorts to go with it maternity as well comfy jean shorts um these are the levi ones from uh, Amazon as well. They're not jagging, they're denim, but they're still stretchy and comfy and not too tight. For Hollywood Studios, I got some cargo or canvas linen maybe. I don't know what material this is, but I got some light tan colored shorts. These are also stretchy, comfy maternity. I love good, like cute and comfy outfits for Disney World. And then I also got a, another of those Razorback thin tops from Etsy. And this one is a Hollywood Studios one. I also packed um, this little built-in bra like tank top just to have. This denim jacket too in case, you know, it's a cooler day. And then I'm going to take a pink different type of material jacket as well. And that's the one I'm going to be wearing on my travel day. So this one I'm going to pack and the other one I'll wear. I thought that this red dress would be really adorable for Chef Nikki. It's really comfy, really stretchy, but it's not too, too thin to where, you know, it's like not the most appropriate, but it's still really cute. Just a red, um, adorable dress for Chef Nikki, more than likely another pink romper and this one is for a resort day just something comfy to wear like around the room around the resort and this is like spaghetti strap with shorts then another comfy dress this one is just all pink with these spaghetti straps on it of course i also packed my waffle knit robe for the room and some more maternity comfy shorts to lounge in at the room. Comfy, stretchy biker shorts with just a regular comfy t-shirt. So this is all like non-park day outfits, resort day outfits, and um, like outfits for the room. All right, so for my park day outfits and just my resort day outfits, that is what I packed this time around. I'm trying to make sure that I'm being very intentional on making everything comfortable for myself, but trying to still find ways to, you know, be cute and like style the bump. So again, those outfits that I got, some of them were maternity, but I mean, they were still generic like jean shorts and things like that that you can get even if you're not pregnant. And the dresses... The rumpers actually were not maternity rumpers or dresses, so I did end up, you know, getting them like in regular size. I just went up a size just to make them fit a little bit better for me. Um, besides that, I just have this cube that has like all of my PJs and underclothes in it because we always pick a room that has washer and dryer inside of it we don't have to go overboard but just a few things that i think that would be good to take are those pasties like the things that you put on under your shirt if you don't want to wear a bra it's like pasties that you put on to keep you covered underneath um compression socks i have the footy ones as well as the tall ones that come up over the ankles these are great for just walking all day inside of disney world that's another thing that a lot of people don't consider to pack the comfy like biker spank shorts and like a nude color or a black are also perfect to wear up underneath dresses or anything that is a little bit too thin that it could be see-through but they are also really comfy so those are another thing that i often always like to pack um a long sleeve like swim shirt or swim jacket just in case the pool is not 
super warm. We're going to be going during springtime where the days could be in the 80s, but the nights could be in the 50s or 60s. So I just never know what time of day we're going to be swimming and what the weather's going to be like. So to have like that swim jacket with the long sleeves to, you know, keep me a little bit more warm in the pool, it's always a great thing to have. So yeah, I got that as well as a few pajamas. And these are the socks I was telling you guys about, like the compression footies. These are super, super comfy if you're wearing sneakers inside of the park. So there's a few little like undergarment things. And if you are doing Disney World while pregnant, um, like me, a pregnancy belt that is thin mesh material so that it's not too, too hot. It's also going to be perfect to help with like supporting your back and your belly and things like that walking around in the park. Those are just a few of, you know, my favorite things to bring to the park inside of my undergarment bag. Obviously, I don't have to show you guys like the PJs and the underclothes, but those are just a few things that I think could be helpful. So I get some regular flip-flops, just plain like cheap flip-flops to wear inside of the room so that we're not walking barefoot on the floors. And then I always bring one pair of sneakers, one pair of sandals. I pack the sandals and then I bring the sneakers. So this time around, I'm just wearing Croc sandals. I'm contemplating if I'll bring like a pair of really cute sandals as well, but otherwise I'm just gonna have these little crack sandals and I put a few like little charms in there um, so that I can wear those if I don't want to wear my sneakers, but my sneakers are of course also crack sneakers. These are my crack sneakers. I spent a little bit of time walking around in them um, like on the treadmill to try and break them in, but they are just an all black pair of Croc Light Rider sneakers. These are super comfortable, but because of the material, also, if you end up having like a downpour or it rains, you don't have to worry about them being like soaked fabric material. You could like literally wear these with or without socks. You don't have to worry about your feet being soaked because that is the most uncomfortable experience ever. Now I'm gonna move on to my son's things. So the first one I will start with is this one that I ordered off the Disney store with some gray canvas shorts. And then I packed him a reversible Mickey sun hat. So on one side, it just has Mickey and royal blue. On the other side, it has a few different colors. So I packed him that sun hat. And then we're also going to be going during his birthday. So from Etsy, I did order him a birthday t-shirt. And this is what it looks like. Jean shorts to go with that. I packed another Mickey hat that has the like string on the bottom to help him keep it on. This one is not reversible. He has Pixar Toy Story for Hollywood Studios, possibly, with some matching shorts. And then I also got him this Toy Story set here. Mostly everything came from Etsy, the Disney Store, Amazon, and this set here came from Walmart. I saw them super inexpensive and said, you know, why not go ahead and grab them? He has a, this shirt here as well, the Walt Disney World, their new um, park life collection or play in the park collection. So I really have to grab him that one because it's super cute. So I got him this one in an extra small boys size four. Shorts I got with for him to go with it. And this one from the Disney site as well. Just a Finding Nemo shirt that I thought would be really cute for Epcot. And this one for the Disney store. Encanto. I think this one is really, really cute for Animal Kingdom with, of course, some more jean shorts. So those are a few different options for him for his park outfits. And then I did get him and my husband matching shirts, which is this one from the Gap website. So his says hit with the Mickey ears and it just says Gap on the sleeve. And then my husband's says dad with the Mickey ears um, with Gap on the sleeve as well. Of course, I just rolled him up a few pairs of pajamas. I think I packed him three, maybe four, three pairs of pajamas, maybe four. I don't know. But just to keep packing light, I just packed a few pairs of pajamas because we are definitely going to be doing laundry in the room, if not every single night, then at least every other night. Um, here's a gray hat because the other ones were blue. So here's a gray one in case he needs a gray colored one. I'm pretty sure he will. And so just another sun hat you know keep him protected from the sun now for his non-park day outfits resort day and things like that he has this one here this is a mickey shirt with some mickey shorts 
He has a Winnie the Pooh shirt. With the cutest little Winnie the Pooh shorts here. His Adidas Disney shorts. And he did have wear these ones last time we went in September. And I think the Adidas Disney shirt I have hanging up in a closet with like an Adidas track suit. Because that's going to be his travel day outfit. Um, but he needed to wear the pants because it's going to be cold. You know, here where we are leaving from. This is his swimsuit. I had to get him a new one. His other one he had gotten too small for. So I did get him this one. And I know that, you know, this is a really light color. And I say, like, you don't want to put your little ones in, like, light colors like this that matches the pool for safety reasons. Like, if they ever, you know, need to be saved. But he also has a swim vest. And the swim vest has bright colors like a lime green, yellow, um, you know, things like that. So, and I packed him a robe and some socks of course all of the disney socks underclothes and things like that so that is what's all inside of my son's my four-year-old's packing cube plenty of disney themed outfits all of the disney outfit inspiration if you have a boy because you know i know that there are already always so many adorable like themed disney outfits for like the girls all the princess dresses and sometimes you're like where's all the stuff for the boys where i will always have you for the theme disney outfit when it comes to the boys and soon for the girls too but yeah i will not be slacking on the disney themed outfits for the boys i'm always gonna have you there if you have a little boy going to disney world check out my pack with me videos i'm just gonna go ahead and link the playlist for you down below these are his room foot flaps so to keep his, you know, feet from the resort room floor. So he has flip flops as well as pool shoes. So room shoes, pool shoes. And then these are his sandals. He had a lot of blue outfits. So I figured his like blue Nikes. He needs the ones that has like the toe covered and the ankles covered if he wants to walk comfortably. So I got him those as well as just a basic pair of gray native comfy walking shoes. He's five now, so we are expecting him to walk around the park a lot more than he used to. These here are going to be his travel day shoes, and these are the Disney 100 collection from um, by the Adidas Disney 100 collection. And it does have, like, the silhouette figures of Mickey and friends on the side. And I'm hoping that these will be comfortable for him. But he's going to actually travel in these ones, so I did not pack them. Because it's his birthday, I am packing a couple of, like, toys for him. And I'm whispering because I don't want him to know. His um, favorite thing for a couple years now has been number blocks. Um, one of his favorite things, so I got him 1 through 5 and 6 to 10, like, the number block friends. This is the 1 through 5 set. And then I also got him, like, the box with the, like, interchangeable and interlinking number blocks so that he can actually like switch them out play with them a little bit more because these blocks i don't believe you can take apart so i'm still gonna let him like maybe pick out something from the disney store i'll wear there for his birthday we're gonna do like the birthday cake celebration at chef mickey and things like that but i know that these are toys that he's absolutely gonna love so i wanted to pack him a little bit something from you know to bring from home something that he can play with in the room and you know just a little birthday gift that i can put inside a little gift bag for him so i got him the number blocks one through five five through ten as well as like the black set that he can actually interchange and link the pieces to okay, moving on to some of the qualities i have two packs of i don't even know how many come in each pack but these are like the laundry sheets that are very lightweight easy to pack so that you can do laundry in rooms so i have the laundry detergent sheets and for myself i did pack some hair clips and hair ties to keep my hair off of my face I have some of my makeup here and this here is a necessity for me um this is like setting powder but it is for shine control so that when you're in that florida heat you don't have to worry about sweating or like your sunblock melting off of your face so i have my makeup and that is just the setting powder i have like a um matte cc cream foundation like the bb cream kind of but this one is by Neutrogena with like niamicide inside of it and then I have an eyeliner and a um, waterproof mascara so that is it for the makeup I did pack a few makeup like sponges hair caps to cover my hair in the shower I have like setting spray in here and then I have two toothbrush for 
all of us with toothbrush covers, all of that stuff. We pack our own toothpaste and all of that because we are picky with the kind that we like. And I also have to pack Noah a cup to like rinse. And then I have like all the soaps and things inside of my husband's suitcase. So I'll show you guys that next. But these guys I forgot to put in there. So the swim vest I was telling you about for Noah. Um, an in-room door lock. So you put this up under your hotel room door and you use this to tighten it up against the floor. This way it's child proof so that your little one cannot open the hotel door from the inside. This gives me a peace of mind if we are going to have him sleep inside of a separate room. Um, because even when we're home, I like lock all the doors, like double latches that he can't reach. And then I also, we have like a baby gate upstairs that he can't escape from even at five. I close that at night and I still sometimes turn on the baby monitor so that I can watch him and hear him. Even more so, more anxiety inside of the hotel room. So I pack this for sure to give me even more peace of mind. Make sure that there's no escaping happening. And it's like the things that we don't think would happen. Like you just never know. It's like you think it won't happen, but again, you never know. So there's that. And then, of course, I have all of my liquid ID. I have the immune support one, the energy multiplier one, and the hydration multiplier one. So all of my liquid IVs are also going to be packed inside of my suitcase. So there's that. Me and no one always shares one check bag, and then my husband has his check bag, which he carries a little bit of like the extra things in the electronics as well as any other souvenirs that we're going to be bringing back so for instance right on top i have a bag with like our stroller fan in here our neck fans in there and then i have like extra cup holders for the stroller i'm gonna need it in disney world to hold our coffee our water noah's snack his cup and things like that noah's stroller fan and our neck fans is what's in here and it's inside of like i got like a little dollar tree um insulated bag kind of like a lunch bag and that just protects it from you know heat things like that we have a stroller rain cover as well as an umbrella and then all of our raincoats so mine's my husband's and my son's all of our raincoats is inside of here he does have this belt bag um so that he can wear this like on the ride sometimes if he just want to like put his phone in here his money and things like that things that we are not going to be keeping in the stroller when we park it so just a few zippers and pockets for him it even has like a water bottle holder and we got this one from um one of the disney stores the last time we were there so he does carry a belt bag as well you guys this is going to be at the bottom of our stroller it's an organizer with a lid in case, you know, to keep everything covered away from those squirrels at Disney World. Um, and like if it rains and things like that. And then you put this in there. You can have two or three sections, dividers. Say, for instance, I want to put our rain gear in here, like inside one section of it. And then put the divider in. It'll be like that, and then I'll have two more sections still to put anything else that we might want to carry inside of the parks, but keep it organized and then just be able to, you know, cover it up like this. And so this is something that once we get out the car to go inside the room, we can just pull it out of the trunk um, and put it back in there the morning of and things like that. It has plenty of like straps to secure it. It has a cup holder here. Um, a pocket here, a zipper pocket here, so you can put like a huge water bottle because it's so big. In here, you can put baby wipes in here, Excedrin, Dramamine, or whatever you like to have, hand sanitizers and things. There's a little pocket here for you, and then it's the exact same thing on the other side. Another zipper pocket, another water bottle pocket, and then another, you know, just easy quick grab stuff that you would have in here. It just keeps everything organized inside of the stroller. So this is that matching shirt that I was telling you about that him and Noah has. His says dad on it and gap on the sleeve. So that's their matching themed outfit. He has some light colored stretchy material shorts and his pocket has like the zipper on it so that he can like carry his phone and wallet in there on the rides without it falling out. We are going to be doing Garden Grill at Epcot, so I did get him this Chippendale Rescue Ranger shirt because him and Noah used to watch the show together all the time, and I really like the light green color for it, so I packed him that shirt. 
Um, so more like Kimsey style shorts here. Like, what do you call these? Cargo shorts maybe? I don't know. But I packed him some of those for Animal Kingdom. Um, he has a Mickey tank shirt here. More light gray canvas cargo style short. This shirt was really, really cute. It says, this is my happy face. It downloaded on it. I thought that was a really adorable. He has this Adidas tank with some more blue cargo shorts. He has the exact same Croc sneakers as me, <laughs> um, but in the men's size, the men version, those are the shoes that he's going to be wearing most days at the park. And those are also our travel day shoes that we're going to wear. So we're actually not going to pack those. And then I packed him a pair of flip-flops for the room and a pair of pool flip-flops as well. His robe. And he has a few different non-park day outfits, but they are still Disney themed. Some of them. And some of them a little more casual for um, like restaurant days. So he has this here, light colored, thin collared shirt and then the exact same one in a blue color um basic t-shirts for like the pool and the room and then he has this mickey themed shirt here as well as this one he has another nike tank white colored thing as well as a pair of jeans and some swim trunks so that is inside of my husband this is jetted tub cleaner so you can use this to clean out the pubs and the hot tubs and jacuzzis inside of your resort room um we always like to carry some to clean out our tubs to make sure they are clean if we're going to be using them which we always need to use them after all of those disney park days so just something that you might have thought of that i highly recommend you should bring so i did get all full-size toiletries this time because we always normally wait till we get there go to walmart and get our soaps and things like that but i sometimes pack them and then we don't bring them back home we leave them and that clears up a few pounds in our suitcase for souvenirs so this is like a placeholder kind of that we're going to use so I did get myself some mango um, swab body wash and I got my husband a hair body and face wash by swab as well as his is citrus and musk while I have like the mango one I have myself a whole body deodorant as well as a regular deodorant my husband has a whole body deodorant as well as a regular deodorant we also have a small Dr. Teal's body lotion. I have a clean and clear morning burst face wash. Oh, oil free. Again, oil is not for the heat. <laughs> Hypoallergenic aloe and vitamin E. Broad spectrum water resistant sunscreen lotion. This one is Water Babies by Copperstone, but the whole family is going to use that one. So don't forget your sunscreen. And then I also like the Super Goop one for like our face so that is what's inside a toiletry bag and then of course Noah has his um he only has uh like three and a half ounce one and again we always rent a vehicle so we do have the option to go to Walmart and get anything that we might need that we may run out of another thing I recommend that you just pack and put like right in the front of your suitcase packet if you carry checked bags is a portable luggage scale so that when you are traveling back home you have this to weigh your bags and make sure that they are within the proper weight requirements. So luggage scale is a necessity for home and for, you know, to actually take, actually take with you. This is the suitcase we're taking. So there's mine and that's the Bio World Disney suitcase. I really love the Bio World brand of the Disney suitcases. They have like a similar brand. I can't remember the name of it, but this is the Bio World brand of the um, Disney suitcases. They have them like Mickey, Minnie, all the things. So I got the Minnie Mouse one. My husband, he thought that it was corny, so he didn't want to carry the Mickey one. But eventually, I'll get him on board. But I also have the Bio World, like, diaper bag or travel bag, I guess. Such a really good quality. I love the material of it. It's waterproof. It's not like a fabric. I don't know what the material is. But I keep wipes on one side. Um, You can keep wallet covers in here for Noah to go potty with as well as hand sanitizing wipes for him and his 
water bottle on the other side that I've washed it, but it's empty. So that after we make it through like, you know, airport security, then I'll get him some water. So that's the bag he's carrying. I'm just gonna be carrying that one on the plane. I'll show you guys what's actually inside these bags. Mine is pretty much mostly gonna have electronics in it. So my cameras, um, my laptop, and chargers things that i don't want to part with but then i also have my water bottle as well um i keep like these on like all of our bags kind of these little sanitizers to like easily be able to access i have more toilet seat covers for noah some of them are for the park the restaurants the airport all of that he needs policy covers and then i also have like a little first aid kit in the back of here and this one has like visine jemamin like bandages gloves neosporin alcohol pads all of that stuff is inside of this little first aid kit and i like to have my first aid kit with me so since this is going in the top of the airplane compartment that is where i decided to put it I have much in here yet because like i said i have like camera equipment my laptop's gonna go in here i have like mask just in case there's like a sick person on the airplane and we don't want to be sick so i have a couple of masks in there for us and then i have my husband some sunglasses myself some sunglasses this is my snack bag so i just have like cheeses pretzels uh nutri -Grain bars and did i say trail mix just a few snacks for myself <laughs> inside of here um gum and this is like the bag that i'm gonna wear this is my belt bag that i'll be wearing like around my waist and then of course more sanitizer so i'm gonna carry this as like one person so between noah and i we get three personal items he gets a personal item i get a personal item and then he gets a diaper bag so this is my personal item this is his personal item and then the mickey bio roll bag is gonna be his diaper bag so this is gonna just be my little item that's around my waist. They probably won't even see it, to be honest. And in here, I have tons, pregnancy problems, and um, more hand cleaning wipes. And then I'll just put my phone, my wallet, and things like that in there. So that's all that's gonna be on my waist, things that I actually want on me when I'm sitting in the plane. So this is gonna be at the top, and this I want it on me while I'm sitting. Portable charger, that I'll put in there. And then I have gum for my husband, gum for myself. So let's just put my gum in. More hand wipes, as well as some little Kleenex tissues. Let's put that in there. Those are the Dramamin. So I have the kids Dramamin, and I need them on the airplane. And then I also need them for the parks. So I got one for me and one for Noah. Yes, I'll just have to show you guys what's inside of Noah. So I showed you his wipes, his, you know, the outside packages. And then on the inside here, I have his Mickey headphones in the back zipper. I also have his tablet in case he needs that on the airplane. He normally just falls asleep, but I do have it. On the inside, he also has, um, his hand sanitizer, his Kleenex, hand wipes, and a lip balm for him. And he also has his Mickey wallet and his Mickey Mouse sunglasses. Activity wise, he has like a small little like kid, like digital camera. I have him a snack bag and he has like pretzels, cheese its fruit snacks, potato chips, nutri -grain bars, all of that stuff. And he also has over here a few of, um, hydration liquid iv packets as well he likes them too so i pack him his own and then this is another activity bag for him so he has a drawing tablet and he has crayons these are the triangular crayons that are washable because they are triangular they won't roll off of the airplane tray even though we do have like a tray cover the edges of it fold up and connect so that nothing can roll off but this is also good to take like to restaurants and things. He has a few things from Target. So for one is this cute little shape marker magnetic foam puzzle piece thingy. So it has like these little magnetic shapes. And I packed him a bunch of the cards that go to it. So basically he would put the card on here. And this is like the tin lid. I left the bottom of it out and then you just put the card in and you have to figure out how to create the shape 
or the object with the magnetic shape. So that's really cool. It's magnetic, so it won't fall. So I have that for him. And then in here, he also has a few like markers, some stencils, and a little drawing pad so he can draw pictures, color, use his stencils, and things like that. So I'm thinking that all of this stuff should keep him, you know, pretty busy for our flight. It's not more than three hours, so we shall be okay. Like I said, I'm pretty sure he'll sleep majority of that time. Um, if I like wait to pull out the tablets and things like that and the activities, then he'll probably fall asleep. If I pull out the tablet as soon as we get on the plane, chances of him falling asleep decrease a ton. So if you want your little one to be sleeping in the plane, just hold off on pulling out the tablet and just see if they'll get so bored that they fall asleep. Of course, if they're antsy, whiny, crying, then pull it out, the toys, the activities, whatever you have to do. Um, but I like to hold off first just to see if I can get him to fall asleep. And if he does have to have his tablet, then I bring his, you know, headphones. Um, he also has his fun color by sticker book. So basically it just has like, um, stickers that you put on a coloring sheet. So one that are playing coloring sheets in here. And then there's also, for instance, it has the numbers where you place the stickers and then you just go and find that sticker sheet and that's where you put the stickers. So this is a really cute book he's had for a while and it's perfect for when you are traveling places to keep him busy as well as his a Disney puzzle booklet. And this one just has pages of different puzzles um, in there. So these are the puzzles. And you just take the puzzles out like that and let them just put them back together in the book i like that it's like different pages and on the book with a little story on it so that you don't like lose the pieces because they're inside of a book so just something else to keep them busy inside of the restaurant on the airplane things like that so um he has of course an extra outfit underwear shorts and t-shirts basically in case we have any type of like spills or anything like that i just keep um like a medicine dropper for him and tiny nail clippers and a thermometer to check his temperature if he gets sick um normally i also keep like Tylenol or motrin in here but because we don't have any more right now um, especially not like a travel size one, I'll get it, you know, when we get there, if I have to. He has a different bag that is much smaller. It's only 10 inches big, like pretty small, and it's empty, so some of this stuff will transfer into that bag once we, you know, make it to the resort. So that way, when we are going to like a restaurant or something and we need to carry a bag in there for him, we will only just carry like his wipes um like a coloring sheet or an activity for him to do just like small things inside the smaller bag and then this one can just stay inside of the car in case we need it for emergencies with like the first aid the change of clothes and things like that so i'm pretty sure that that pretty much sums up everything that we are packing <laughs> for disney world i will show you guys everything that is attached to our stroller as well as the stroller that we're going to be taking this time and i'm going to do a stroller setup for you guys i'm going to do one like starting here before we have everything like on it and then i'll show you guys one once we get to disney world that has everything on it like the bags that we're carrying the stroller organizer and things like that so i'm going to do a separate one that one right now just has like our stroller caddy on it and I think our matching cooler bag that had a slid in there, but there's nothing inside of it right now. I have hand sanitizing wipes and regular wipes on the stroller right now. So that is that. And then we do take a car seat with us. I'm going to show that to you guys on like our travel day with our travel day vlog, the type of car seats that we carry. We purchased a different one just for travel purposes, a lot more lightweight. So I'll show you guys that as well. All right, you guys, that sums up today's Pack With Me video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, found it to be motivational. Maybe got some Disney um, outfit inspiration from it that is modest and mom friendly, even pregnancy friendly, if that is your current journey. Um, I definitely enjoyed filming this video for you guys, and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And again, if you stay through to the end, that is 
is a sign that you should just go ahead and subscribe to the channel and join the family. But that's going to be all for today. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.